Hi guys, Kirk and Jay here with Kirk Giordano Plastering. Today I got a tip for you on new materials and what you can buy. You guys have asked me for years, Kirk, I got a small job. Do I really got to go buy that 94 pound bag? And I always say, yes you do. They don't make them smaller. But these days they do make them smaller. These are 25 pound boxes here. Uh, they're not, they're not that, that heavy, especially for you homeowners. 25 pounds is pretty light. And I actually seen them in cans too. Now, granted, folks, when I go buy my material, I go to the professional yards like West Side Building Materials or Close or any of the big uh, companies, and I get 100-pound sacks, 94-pound sacks, and sand. If you go to any of the hardware stores, I mean any of them, they all have 10 or 15 different brands. I just got a couple of these brands just to show you something. Now, this says stucco patch. What does stucco patch mean? That means a base coat right here. This is a base coat that's one inch thick, technically. It could be an inch and a quarter, it could be half inch. Now, let me, uh, let me give you another tip too, guys. Again, it says stucco patch, but mortar mix, mortar is usually, you can call it for, I call this mortar, I call grout mortar, we call concrete mortar. Mortar mix and this stucco patch, similar, very, very similar. So if you get one and you say, oh, gee, you read the box and it's, don't panic, guys. You can use either one for the wall. This one here, stucco patch. Let me see what these guys uh, recommend. They say crack resistance. Nothing crack resistance, guys. So uh, it says water resistant. Well, that's better than saying waterproof. Okay, on this one here. And by the way, these, these uh, products here, it's, I mean, it's all over it. It says um, uh, one coat. These are, you, could, you could do one coats. But what I do and what I did here is I put the first coat on, then I put the second coat on. What happens if you try to put one fat inch? Don't do it, guys. It, it falls all over the place and it cracks sometimes a lot more. So double coat it. Also, I'm not pointing any particular companies, guys, because I'm, not, I'm nobody's rep, but I just show you do it yourself, fellas, that if you use any, any of the uh, rapid set products, and yeah, this is rapid set. There's BMI makes it, uh, QuickCrete makes it, and 20 other companies. If you use any of these rapid set products, don't over mix. Uh, you could use Portland cement and mix it for an hour, but this stuff, three to five minutes, usually almost with every rapid set product. Why? Because you will destroy the integrity. They have a tendency to become weak and become compromised if you over mix them, so don't do it. Also too, guys, while I'm at it, uh, let me mention one thing. A lot of you guys are calling me and saying, Kirk, can I use this product? It's already pre-mixed. The pre-mixed products, whether it's for tile or whether it's for stucco, and I don't want to step on anybody's toes, I don't use them. Why? Because they're not as strong. They don't, whether it's for stucco, it's not as strong. And that's my personal opinion, whether it's tile and you try to save yourself some time by not putting all this, right here, we got to take this, open it, put it in a bucket. We got to add water, powder goes everywhere. You dust, wear a mask. It's kind of a drag. But if you buy, I'm not recommending the stuff that you buy in the buckets already pre-mixed, guys. Again, it's not as strong. So if you're going to do it, homeowners, do it with these uh, bag stuff and mix it. Another tip to these things, you don't have to add sand. You just add water to these. And the, most of these products you see at the big companies, that's all they are. Just add water. And read the instructions because I could be off on a product or two. I'm not a whiz on every single product by every single maker. Anyway guys, I wanted to point out they sell them in 25 pound bags, they sell them in 10 pound little cartons and boxes too, so no longer do you have to buy a 94 pound bag and that's my one of my main questions everybody asks me. So hopefully this, this helps you out guys. Go to the hardware store, do a little bit of research and get these light bags if you have this. How many boxes do you use for something like this? I use three. Anyway, my name is Kirk. I'm with Kirk Giordano Plastering. Jason on the camera. As usual, we thank you for watching. I'll we'll see you guys on the next one. Once again, folks, we thank you for watching and I really enjoy all your comments. If you guys like this video, please click the like button down below. And also, if you enjoy what we do, subscribe to our channel so we can keep making these videos for you. My name is Kirk. And Jay. We thank you for watching. And from the entire Giordano family, we'll, we'll see you on the next one. one.